Oh, you ready? You ready for me? Okay. Hey girls! We are back with another episode. Woo! Okay, let me check the earrings one time. All right, all right, all right. I know it's a little different setting wise, but we at the tech world in New York. So all my aspiring fashion designers, this episode is definitely for you. So let's go check it out. And let's go get a nice little run through. Bye now. the bag out. type of 40. I can't find a tag. Somebody popped it off. Oh, this is the company that does cow recline. Which one you think? Which one you think will be for me? Which one you think? Zoom in. Which Which one you think will be for me? You are correct. Okay, the camera guy knows what the hell I would wear. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I should have wore this in Jamaica or something. Zoom in on all these damn zippers, because all these damn de uh, designers got to go through all these little intricate ass steps. It's all disheveled. What's my 
like your turnaround time when you do the leather label? The leather is about five to seven business days. Okay, so it's a quick turnaround. Yes. Okay. Yeah, these ones are all done in Oregon, so they're definitely quickly. Okay, so you guys don't like outsource? No. Okay. No, it's all our company, all of our stuff. I like this. Oh, what is this? Hi, Hi Oh, yes. I need a partner with you. Brain identity. We also do production management, patterns and samples, mm -hmm. as well as branding, photo shoots, things like that. So Got depending it. on where you're at in the process, we can help. Yeah, we're the publisher of these. Things. Publisher, okay. So if you want to find, for example, the print supplier mm -hmm. uh, locally, you'll get this book now or trim. Right. And if you want to find local cut and sew contractors, okay. you'll see this book. And very popular right now is sustainable sources. Mm -hmm. Sustainable fabric suppliers, contractors, packaging companies, etc. Okay. Ooh, thank you. And this is our monument measurement. Okay. Got it. That's awesome. Thank you. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you? What is this made out of? It's all sweater. It's a good... Was, that fabric was created on this machine, which is a felt loom. Mm -hmm. and, and this is what we sell is the machine. She, you can create your own fabric. Got it. I don't do the creating. I do the branding, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. This is a good little machine. So any scraps that that your product might generate, mm -hmm. and they can be repurposed oh. if you see the machine. So you see the smaller pieces. Yep, came together. Yes. I have. Uh, That's can, cool. Like, felt them together. So we've got, like this for instance, mm -hmm. this was created using the back of a linen uh, shirt, mm -hmm. and this was a cotton shirt, and I overlapped them right here. Uh. And then when you do that, then you've got a bigger piece, and then you can take your small pieces mm -hmm. and create that size. Oh, your own pattern. Or, yes, your own pattern, whatever you would, however you'd want to lay it out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But you just cool. have to have multiple layers in order to have a connection, something that will connect, because that's what, this has over 300 needles in this 36 inch mm -hmm. width, and the, it's felting needles, and what it does, they cause a, tangling of the fibers that you're running through. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, my. can I have your card? Absolutely. I'm like, nope, you are not getting fine. So, since there are no live exhibitors in 2021, they have sent their fabrics, their garments over, and some of them have been going through the apps, and they found my profile. They'll request a meeting with me, and then um, they'll introduce themselves. I'll introduce myself and also talk about their garments the MOQs, if they do CMT, if they do FOB, and all the terms and conditions as far as being a fashion professional. Little cozy little thaw -uh. Oh yeah, this is cute. It's funny. Oh, this cute too. It's cute too. Hey, girls! <laughs> and we are back. 
you know it's me again, but I have a special guest, like I promised. I have Mr. Kai Chow. He is the director of Doniger Group, and he's also the show director of Pet World 2021 and other ones previously. So I just wanted to thank you first and foremost for taking your time out of your busy, busy schedule to come talk to me. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it's a pressure. But I just wanted to definitely ask you a couple of questions. Sure. Hope you're ready. Mm -hmm. Let me try. <laughs> so <laughs> since you've been in the fashion industry for so long and... Too long. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we've been, in 2020, we've had like such a groundbreaking event that happened in history that we've never seen before. How did you, you know, put this event together? I think first I had to thank Tex World as well as the Donica Group mm -hmm. creating this whole area, this whole place for everyone to meet. Mm -hmm. I think it is almost the first event that in person for fashion in New York. Yeah. So it's quite an excitement that we all join this event and come here and look into what is next for fashion. And yeah. that's why I kind of plan in a way playing with the emotion. I think it's all new now, talk about what's been happening, all this bad thing. Mm -hmm. Now I try to create some kind of emotion for each story yeah. to express yourself. And the whole reason is because everyone's been locked down for such a long time. Mm -hmm. They all find out who they are as themselves. Right. So each one have their own feeling, each one have their own kind of emotion. So I based on that and feel all the strength for the season. Good way. Well, thank you for bringing us all together, especially after this pandemic. Right. I think that's what tech as well being like yeah. have to be a for. Yes. <laughs> but I know that a lot of people are having a, such a hard time kind of just transitioning out of, you know, comfortable wear, the lounge wear, because that's what a lot of people were wearing in 2021. Well, 2020 and some of 2021. Did you feel like it was important to have the knit wear, like the comfortable lounge wear um, in this years convention. I might even think the other way around. Really? We have enough of all the knitwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today as I put my leather shoes on, I said, wow, that is great. Yeah. The last time I put the leather shoes on is maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> so on the other hand, I probably want a suit, a tailor jacket, mm -hmm. something more construction right. to put on and feel new and new fresh. So yeah. knit is very important, but in textile wise, it's not much different anymore. Mm -hmm. In the past, knits become more comfortable. Now woven can do all the character of more knits can done. So in a way, I see it's not a big, big, big kind of question whether people are going to knit or woven. But deep inside my own opinion, think structure or woven kind of clothing will be more important as a fashion trend or what people are looking for to get something they don't have there in their closet. Well, speaking of trends, mm -hmm. we know that the trends in the market has definitely changed and changed. The landscape has been changed due to the pandemic. Do you feel, in your opinion, since you've been in the industry for so long, do you feel that the pandemic has changed the, the, for, the marketing, the trend forecast of you know, clients? Yeah. for it to be in a competitive market. Definitely, that would be a big change. Change either for the better or the worse. I think people is be more cautious to spend the money what they want to buy, what they need. Because after the whole year, they might not even purchase anything. Now, they start to purchase again. They might have a different way of purchasing clothing. So I do see fast fashion definitely going to be slowing down a little bit. Yes and then quality and a bit more expensive clothing trend will stay longer. Okay. I think that probably one of the key change I see is what's happening. Yeah. And then beside that, styling or silhouette might not change as much, but fabric and colors is the most important trend at the moment. I love colors. Yes. <laughs> I, you can't tell today, but I love colors. Especially anyone. Younger than the Gen C, color is the key for fashion. Okay. Well, speaking of, you, I know you noted. I know I noted that you said fast fashion is kind of just slowing down, and a lot of direct-to-consumer is happening, especially since Instagram, Pinterest. A lot of people are using different outlets to sell directly to their consumer. Why? Uh, why do you think it's important for independent fashion designers? As I said, everyone has their own style now. 
It's not going to be formal as what it used to be. Designer telling you what to wear, you wear. The collaboration of streetwear and couture is such a big thing. So each one will have their own style now. So some will be more streetwear oriented, some will be more loungewear oriented, some will be more naturalist or country kind of looking. So they all look right. So in a way, there's not one narrow fashion trend that's going on at the moment. I like that. It's true. Especially we've all been locked up. Yes. We find ourselves, finally. <laughs> yes, yes, repurposed. So for my aspiring fashion designers, since I particularly work with emerging and independent fashion designers, and if you guys have not purchased your tickets in September 18th for building your fashion brand, go check, go purchase them. But if you were talking to a fashion designer that's starting their brands today in 2021, what would you inform them to include in their business plan? So absolutely be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Believe what you believe, do what you do best. As I mentioned before, there's no particular trend that will offer to people. So just be yourself in a way, do what you do and do what you can do best. I think that's the most important, be honest. Don't just follow the trend, it's sustainable, I do sustainable. If you're not, if you don't understand what sustainable truly is, don't touch it, don't follow the trend. Right. I like that, y'all hear from the expert himself. <laughs> I hope this makes some sense. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. For your time. Thank you. I, I hope you guys learned a lot. All right. Talk to you girls later. Bye, y'all. Bye now. Now, this is my type of forte for the girls who have been watching my videos. I am a vibrant type of girl, and I definitely want vibrance in my clothes. So this is my nice little number right here. You can never fail with ombre. And I love orange and pink together. It looks good on my complexion. And I love this little fun little thing. You can just wear it all black underneath. You ain't gotta try underneath. And just throw this on and you'll be real fast forward. I love this too. What happened? This? Oh. Hold on, hold on. Let me look cute for the girls in the back. Okay. Okay, I got all black on, so why not? I'm getting caught. Mucho gracias. Oh, you see me, security guard? Yes. <laughs> he like get this bitch weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes! We see you! Hey, 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 hey! Where would I wear this? Um, walking down the street in New York City? I also like this set. Yeah, I like simple stuff because I wear a lot of big ass accessories. But yeah, I like stuff like this. Yeah, this, is, this would be me with a nice little bodysuit underneath of it, a body, a tight little bodysuit underneath of it. And keep it moving. And it's green, that's my favorite color. This cute too. But this for me, right here. This, this all for me right here. Yeah, you see me? You, yeah. Yeah, okay? Yeah, this, this is for me, okay? With a nice little heel, okay? Date night. Hey, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yeah, this little corner right here, this is this this right here is for me. Right, but 
This year they have barcodes for us to scan on their app. Text World New York City 2021, their app. We just scan it and when we scan it, we get the manufacturer, which can be located in New York City or in Asia or in Thailand, Thai, yeah, Thailand, Taiwan, Asia, China, wherever their vendor is and they'll let you know. The content, which is, if it's cotton, if it's nylon and whatever it is, how much they will sell it to you or the GSM and all the details inside of it. I had fun, I learned a lot. I made some connections. I met with some, well, I met with the vendor. One of them was late, well, he never showed, but. Um, and then I had an amazing interview with Kai. And I'm also still looking forward to connecting with more people, because I still have some more that I'm gonna be doing since day three is tomorrow. But yeah, I have fun. I mean, it, it's, we still got the post pandemic, so it's not much I can expect in person since they had to transition or whatever. But um, I have fun. I'm definitely going to pass this knowledge over to my fashion protege. Shout, shout out to my fashion protege with this bag, okay? We still working, girl, okay? But yeah, we're gonna pass the knowledge and I'm gonna keep on building my, my nice little empire and passion well. Bye, girls.